everybody, it's Bunny, and I'm finally back with my beautiful hairdo. I've got a tail, a tail, a sassy tail, a sassy tail. Once again, I kind of have a crazy story for you guys today and why I've been gone for the past couple days. So today we're just going to get back in the swing of things with a, a tea vlog. I hope you've got your tea so that we can sippy sippy together. Sippy sippy. like Wednesday night, I guess, like also kind of Thursday morning, basically right after I uploaded my last Wreck-It Wednesday video for you guys. And I was on a roll. I was making a new video for every day, felt real good about it. And then as always, something crazy happens. And I don't know if I just like have more crazy experiences than other people or if just things affect me more than other people. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Wednesday night, I went to bed. I was feeling fine. I didn't have anything weird going on with my eyeballs. Also, if you are sensitive to like eyeball things or medical stories or anything like that, I just want to give you guys a warning. I posted on Facebook last night. I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this or not, but so many of you guys were concerned. And as always, I'm just so grateful and thankful to have you guys in my life and that you care about me and you want to know what's going on when I'm absent for a few days. So I decided I was going to just go ahead and tell you guys my treacherous tale. Uh, I woke up really, really early on Thursday morning and I felt like there was something weird in my eyeball. Like, you know, sometimes if you fall asleep and your eye starts to feel like extremely dry when you first wake up in the morning, but you like blink a couple times and it's okay. Or like if you had mascara on and a little bit of it like gets in your eye, you know, some kind of like makeup or eyelash or whatever. It felt like that, but kind of like extremely dry and I was like what's going on because normally I'm still tired at like eight or nine in the morning so I just thought I would like get up and kind of like put some drops in my eyes and then like go back to sleep because I hadn't gone to sleep till like five o'clock in the morning on Wednesday night so I got up and like kind of the more that I woke up it just kept getting worse and worse and worse and I was like what's going on so I'm like majorly trying to like flush out my eye with eye drops and like nothing is making it better I'm kind of like trying to just like walk around and see if like I can just blink and wake up and you know whatever about an hour after I'd been woken up and like it hurt when I closed my eye it hurt when my eye was open I didn't know if maybe I'd like scratched my eyes somehow in my sleep or just some weird thing happened to me in my sleep. It just wasn't getting any better and like nothing I could do was making it feel any better. And so I just called my optometrist and tried to make like an emergency eye doctor appointment. I've been going to the same optometrist my whole life. So thankfully he was like, ah, oh, come on in. You know, we'll like squeeze you in because he had appointments the whole day. Uh, so I got there about like 1030 and they're kind of like, you know, dilating my eyes, looking at my eyes, doing all this biz. And literally, if I didn't know any better, I would think I had been abducted by aliens because he finally figured out what was wrong when he flipped my eyelid and it was this eye. I don't know if it still looks kind of gross. My eyes have been like really swollen for the past couple days. He flipped my eyelid and like extracted, this is the gross part, extracted like this tiny looking black sharp thing and he's like do you know what this is do you know what this could be and i literally have no idea i'm just totally horrified if you guys have been here for any amount of time y'all know that like medical stuff is the source of pretty much 99 percent of my anxiety problems and so i do not know what this was that came out of my eye i don't know if it was like a piece of mascara that somehow like got hardened and like lodged up underneath my eyelid because I never ever never ever sleep in my makeup just because I can't fall asleep while wearing makeup it's just so uncomfortable to me so it's not like I'd been like sleeping in my makeup the night before and I'm always like really thorough about washing off my eyes and my eyelashes so I don't know what it could be. I never wear waterproof mascara. The only thing I'm thinking it could be is sometimes I wear mascara with the eyelash extensions, like the little extension pieces. And I don't know if maybe like a piece of that 
just somehow got stuck in my eye and then it like kind of crystallized or something and like you know hardened up in there so it was kind of like sharp I have no idea but it has literally been so traumatic for me I'm not sure if I've told this story before I think I did but like many many years ago when I first started my channel in like the hundred things nobody ever asks or ten things about you tag I don't know which one it was but when I was a little kid I think it was like the second or third grade I got a piece of metal lodged in my eye and like literally if I would have waited one more day to have that extracted I would have been blind in one eye that's why like sometimes if you look at me like I have like a little bit of a wonky eye like some oh see you can kind of see it now like cuz I'm trying to focus like one eye and then the other one does a little crazy dance. I don't know, it was just kind of like reliving a totally traumatic experience for me when I was little. I had to have like rust extracted from my eye and now like the other eye had this happen and I'm like, this is just uncanny. I'm like, who has this many things that just like lodge in their eyeball? I feel like this is a totally uncommon, totally weird thing that's now happened to me twice. So now I'm just like, horrified and I've only done my makeup once since then but I just cannot bring myself to put on eyeshadow or mascara right now I gotta get over it I've gotta like build a bridge and like get over it I'm even like kind of scared of like washing my face and products so lately I've just been doing like um, exfoliating uh, what am I looking for? Like they're kind of the makeup remover towelettes, but I have some that are like cleansing and exfoliating. So I've just been using that. I know that that sounds totally, totally gross. And my skin is probably gonna break out like no other. I feel like I'm like curing one problem mentally and like creating another of like blemishes all over my face but I just can't handle it right now. I've just kind of been dealing with that and I've been kind of trying to like stay off the computer for the past couple of days because things like eye strain like playing video games or like scrolling on the computer all kinds of stuff like that like my eyes have been hurting the past couple days I've been getting pretty bad headaches the past couple days and it's just like eye strain like my eyes are trying to heal themselves so so uh, that's what's been going on, but I think I'm finally kind of like getting over it slightly. If I don't have makeup on for at least the next couple days, you guys will know why. I actually have filmed a Swamp Family Mail video finally but it's a lot of footage as you guys know so I haven't been on the computer to edit it with my weird eyeballs my special eyes so hopefully we will be back on track this week's weeks these weeks. I do like my shirt today though. This is like one of my favorite shirts. That's why I wear it all the time. It's so comfy. I got it from the thrift store. Someone cut the sleeves off for me. So it's just so comfortable. I'm just like chilling out. I'm just taking like a couple days to just do not much of anything. But we will be back on track this week. I always say that, but I promise. I pinky promise with both of my pinkies. <sighs> ramble, ramble, scrambled eggs. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so, so much for being here and for hanging out with me today and for sticking with me. Even when I disappear for a couple days, it truly means the world to me. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being you. If you're not already and you'd like to be, please join the madness, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!